Who, who is that? Is that Marquez Brownlee? Right. No, is it Peter McKinnon right. maybe? Surely it's not Phoenix Resale right. with that crispy image quality and that nice blurred background. Surely it's gotta be one of those high-end tech reviewers. Nope, nope, that's definitely Phoenix Resale. That's right, folks, the one and only Phoenix Resale coming to you today in beautiful high resolution. Just got myself a lovely DSLR camera, the first one that I've ever used here on this channel. Barely could even figure out how to turn the thing on, but yet here we are, looked at the manual and now it's amazing what can happen. So I asked myself, okay, how can I possibly, uh, you know, use this camera today? And I decided what better way than to shoot a good old what's sold video. So I have five Amazon items, five eBay items, all of which were sold for above $50, most of which were sold for $100 that all happened within the last, I think, three months or so. So without further ado, let's check out some of my best sold items from the last three months, and hopefully you guys will pick up some solid tips along the way. So we'll go ahead and start with the Amazon sales. I'll go ahead and put everything up in here somewhere. First item is a Nintendo NES Classic Edition. These are the small ones that come uh, with like the little plug-in controllers and pre-downloaded games. This one sold for $177 on Amazon. Definitely a good thing to keep an eye out for. Even at like video game stores and stuff, I think I've bought these in the past for like 70 bucks or so. They retailed for 100, so that's a great one to keep your eye out for. I've also bought them actually at yard sales as well. The next one is another Amazon sale, Attack on Titan for the PS4. This is a really hot game right now. It did not always used to be this expensive, so it's a really good one to look out for. This one I got at a pawn shop for I think like 25 or 30 bucks, ended up selling for 62 before fees and shipping. So that was a solid like $20 profit or so on, even on like a relatively expensive game. And Attack on Titan 2, if you can manage to find that one, is going crazy right now. It's at like 150 bucks or something. So that was the main reason that I wanted to throw this one in there to make you guys aware of that title. Next up, we have Skylanders Swap Force Starter Pack on the Wii U. You've heard me talk a ton about Skylanders figures and games on this channel. This is one that I found new in the package at a video game store, super cheap. I paid like maybe five bucks for this thing and it ended up selling for $63.83. This next Amazon sale absolutely blew my mind. This was a new 3DS XL that you guys saw me pick up from a pawn shop for I think like 120 bucks in one of my most recent videos. Ended up selling, this is, this is just crazy. $354. This was in very good condition and it was sold through FBA. So it was able to be eligible for the buy box. I don't know if there were any other offerings that were in very good condition with the stylus and charger and everything. And that makes a huge difference on Amazon. The fact that this thing sold for more than a switch system absolutely blows my mind. Definitely going to be looking for those as I'm out and about sourcing. You will not see comps like this on eBay. This is a huge advantage of selling on Amazon. There's less competition and with that buy box element, you can sometimes get crazy prices for stuff. This is one example of that. Another one coming up right here is the Wii console with Mario Kart Wii that I have sold recently. People doubt me a lot when I talk about comps for this system on Amazon. I'll pick up a Wii for like maybe 50 bucks and people will be like, what in the world? You can't even sell it on eBay for that. But I always say when you make bundles like this on Amazon, this one sold for $165. Even after fees, there's tons of profit to be made if you're buying a good console at $50. At least right now, this has fluctuated a lot in the last year. So I would definitely, definitely recommend uh, staying up to date on all the comps for systems like these, but uh, made some solid money with this sale. So those were some of the most noteworthy sales that I did have on Amazon. From here on out, we're gonna be looking at eBay. If you guys are finding any value in this kind of video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and all that, that really helps me out and lets me know that I should make more of this kind of video in the future if it is helpful to you guys. 
Uh, the first one that we have on the eBay side is actually one of my favorites. Uh, oh no, this is the that's a code coming later. So I have two code card sales, believe it or not, in this lineup. The first one uh, is this Deep Freeze 2018 bundle code that I got sent from GameStop. This uh, was something that I picked up way back when, uh, I think maybe December or so was when this ended up selling. GameStop was running a sale where I could get this game new. It's not actually a physical game, it's just a code that they end up sending you uh, for like 18 bucks or so. And two of the copies that they ended up sending me didn't actually even have a case, they literally just sent me the loose code. So I was like, all right, I'll throw those on eBay. They both sold very quickly for $53.94 with free shipping. That was one of the OA leads that I did post in our video game reseller Discord that did end up panning out very well. So I was happy to get those two sales as well as a bunch more uh, in actual new condition on Amazon. So that was a great one. This next one is a Pokemon card sale that was the best card I got out of a binder that I got a pretty good while ago in a Switch trade video. Someone traded me a binder and a whole bunch of loose Pokemon cards. This was the best one that I ended up finding, which actually was kind of a surprise to me. Armored Mewtwo Pokemon promo sold for $54.97. I guess the tip that I would have relating to this card, to this sale specifically, would be uh, just look for, not only look for Pokemon cards at sales and stuff, but if you are doing Switch Trade posts, uh, that's something that I recently have been including as well as something that I will trade for just because they're so hot on the market right now. They sell really quick and for good money. You just kind of have to know what you're looking for. All right, so this next one is the only other uh, Pokemon card sale that I will include in this lineup. Huge lot of 19 full art Pokemon cards. This is just an example of the strategy that I like to do with Pokemon card lots. If I find cards that are worth like less than 10 bucks that I don't really want to list individually, I'll just go ahead and lot them up and sell them that way. Uh, and these cards ended up selling for $87.97 with free shipping. This next one is a sale of a game that has gone uh, up in value steadily over the last year. It kind of jumped a little bit when the pandemic hit and it's just kind of continued to grow. This is a dry battery copy of Pokemon Crystal version that sold for 91 bucks with free shipping. Uh, again, I've said this before, but almost anything that can ship first class that's not like super valuable, like, you know, maybe $100 or more, I will ship first class and I'll usually put free shipping on it. I think that helps with sales velocity. All right, this next one is a jacket. If you guys are familiar with my content, you know I do not do almost any clothes. Don't like them. They just are not fun for me to list and ship and everything. So I pick them up pretty infrequently, only when I think I'm getting a really good deal. This one I think I paid maybe 25 bucks for at a yard sale and took a while to sell. This was probably a year, maybe a little bit more than a year ago, um, but finally did end up selling. I originally listed it for like 170 bucks, lowered it to 150, then 140, and then I ultimately got an offer from an international buyer for $101.17 with free shipping. So I probably ended up making after fees and shipping, I don't know, it, it was with the global shipping program, so because that warehouse is in Kentucky, I didn't have to pay a ton. Um, but I probably made 40 plus dollars in the end, so not bad. If I knew I was gonna have to sit on it for that long, would I have still done it? Mm, I, yeah, I probably, 40 bucks is 40 bucks, so I probably still would have done it. All right, so this is where we're going to end up getting into a good number of cartridge game sales. I've been listing a bunch of these in the last couple months because I did have that huge pickup of, you know, just totes full of cartridge-based games. I think I ended up paying, what did I have into each one? Around two to three dollars, I believe. And the sales that I'm including in this video are going to be my best sales from that lot so far. So this first one here is Tengen Tetris. This is uh, not just the normal like Nintendo Tetris cartridge, but the Tengen version. I think this maybe was released right before these kind of stopped being a thing. I'm not sure exactly. You guys can let me know in the comments why this one's so valuable, but $95 I got for this and it sold fairly quick, I think within a week. Uh, so that's definitely a good one to be on the lookout for. Then the next one, the next two here actually, um, I'm not sure, I believe these may have sold to a viewer although it's, it was a little bit ago, so I can't remember entirely. 
Um, we had Tomb Raider, Sega Saturn, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 sell to the same buyer for a combined just about $100 on that. So uh, that was a really nice combined sale. I love uh, when I get those and can combine shipping and everything. Next up, this one really surprised me. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Gold Collector's Edition on the N64. This was actually one that I had in my personal collection that I recently just decided to sell. $97.97 .97 on this game. I actually saw this in a pawn shop recently for like 75 bucks. Uh, I ended up asking if they could do any better. They said they could do 65. Looking at this price, it almost makes me wonder. I could have made a little bit of money. I probably still wouldn't have. That's not the best margin. Um, but if you could find this game for like 50 bucks or less in really good condition and on cartridges like this, condition matters a ton. So if you see some of these, you're like, wow, why are people paying a premium for that? It's likely because it has a really nice sticker label, doesn't have any like writing or scuffing or anything like that, and obviously it's in good working condition. The next item on the list is the other code that I have sold recently. This was the Fortnite Wildcat DLC code for 200 V bucks. Uh, I honestly don't even know what that means. I don't play Fortnite, which is the reason that I ended up selling this code. This came included with the Fortnite Edition Switch console. Uh, so obviously I have a Switch console collection, which you guys will be seeing a little bit more of in the future. Spoiler alert, video coming on that soon. This code came included with that console for the regular retail price of $300. So when I picked one of those up, I actually decided to sell this code because I really have no interest in it. And when it sold for $144.97, that ended up meaning that I got my Fortnite Edition Switch for less than 200 bucks, which is an excellent deal and was really happy to be able to add that to the Switch collection for that much lower price. All right, so now we're getting into some of the real high dollar sales here, well over $100. Um, this next one, Nintendo Game Boy Advance. GBA limited edition platinum version. So uh, this one's a little bit less common than like the grape or atomic purple, for example, or the white ones. Um, but yeah, it had all of the inserts and the manual. The system itself was in excellent shape. The box was, box was in good condition as well. So this is one of those times that the condition really did command a premium, $139 plus shipping on this. This next one is a game from the large cartridge bulk buy that I did. Dragon Warrior 4 on the NES sold for $147.97. What can I say, folks? Incredible, immaculate condition. Definitely commanded a premium and is a great title to be looking out for. All right, this is kind of an interesting one as well. This was an item that I found in my grandma's attic that at one point my grandpa had collected and just kind of threw up there, probably hadn't thought about in years. Had to do a little bit of research on this one to figure out exactly what to put in the title. On something like this, normally I'll just look for the sold comp that is this exact item that ended up selling for the most, and then I'll just copy that title. And as long as it is actually the same item, uh, that generally should do well for you. This was a Buck brand Predate Axe Hatchet. Um, I don't actually know what Predate means. Maybe, maybe this is an axe that is older than when the company started putting dates on the hatchet is maybe what I would guess. But anyway, uh, yeah, this was a grandma's attic find, so it was completely free and it ended up selling for $150 with free shipping. Then this next eBay sale here is actually another double, another cartridge sale that sold to a YouTube viewer. So Luis, thank you very much for this sale. This happened just this last week. Uh, it was Sparkster, the SNES game, as well as Biker Mice from Mars that sold for $130 and $50 respectively. He uh, reached out and asked if I could do a discount. And since it's a viewer, I normally will do that, especially if you reach out on Instagram in my DMs. If you say, hey, I saw this on your eBay store, I'm interested. Normally, I'll be able to give you about 10% off. So if you ever want to do that, you're more than welcome to. And uh, this is what happened. This time it was through the actual eBay app. Sometimes I will do best offers on items that way too. I prefer to do it direct through Instagram so that we can both avoid the eBay fees. Okay, this next sale is actually a little bit instructive as well. This is the PS4 Star Wars Battlefront Limited Edition. The reason that I put this on eBay rather than Amazon where I definitely could have gotten more is the controller that came with it, the actual like Darth Vader Edition controller was super beat up and crapped out and I could not 
uh, salvage it at all. I put it with this gunmetal PS4 uh, controller that I had and made sure to picture it well and you know note that in the description and sell it on eBay so that the buyer would be very clear what was actually happening. And it ended up selling for $267.97 plus shipping. And this was another item that I got in a console trade uh, in December, I think. And then our last, but definitely not least, actually last, but most sale, if that makes grammatical sense, is the dot hack infection slash mutation slash outbreak slash quarantine complete PS2 set. Actually, it's, it's the complete set of games, but it was missing a DVD in the last one, which meant that normally this set is worth around like 350 or a little bit more dollars. Unfortunately, this was only uh, 300 because of that missing DVD because that DVD that's missing is part of the most expensive game. Anyway, a general takeaway from this sale is definitely pay special attention when you are out at whatever, video game stores or yard sales or wherever you like to source, pawn shops. Pay special attention to Japanese RPGs because those do have uh, very often a cult following and can hold some higher value to collectors. So uh, make sure that you're looking those up if you come across them. Anyways, folks, kind of a quick one here today. Hope you guys enjoyed it, got something valuable out of it. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I will catch you guys on the flip.